Hello and welcome back. My name is John, John Emanuel Floral Events, and um, I'm here at Kosh today doing some beautiful uh, demonstrations with Kosh's amazing silk flowers. Um, and now we're going to a part of the flower industry that I'm most comfortable with. So we're going to demonstrate um, some luxury wedding pieces. So um, I'm going to work on a tablescape at the moment and it's going to be a low tablescape. Um, and we've got these amazing urns, uh, metal urns that we, we actually also use these in our Perth Masterclass and I just think they're absolutely beautiful. They're so lightweight. Um, and then I'm going to couple those with um, these smaller metal urns as well, which are going to look really, really beautiful. Um, the flowers are just amazing. So um, we've got gorgeous posies of peonies here. Um, posies of Cymbidian orchids, and these are fantastic because they're actually sim uh, singly bloomed. Um, rather than having to get a long stem and having to cut and wire, these are genius. Um, we're using this beautiful texture flowers. I actually thought it was lilac at the beginning because of the texture, but this is actually a um, gilder bush um, posy, which is really good. The texture is amazing. Um, and we're using beautiful white carnations and I wish there was a, a touch sense that you could actually fill this with. Um, these actually look so and feel so fresh, they're beautiful. Um, and hydrangea. Uh, and again, the hydrangea is in a posy form and this is a beautiful champagne colour. So what we're going to start off by doing is forming our base with the hydrangea. So to start the process, we actually just use the dry floral foam and arranged it in the metal urn. And just to reinforce it a little bit, we've, we've covered it in the pot tape just to hold it nice and secure. So now we're going to start by building our bed of uh, beautiful hydrangea. We're also going to be using some really nice uh, candle wear. Um, we've got these beautiful gold, uh, sorry, clear glass rather, clear glass um, candle holders um, with the pillar candles and these stunning gold antique uh, candle votives, um, which are all available at Kosh. Um, you can order them online or you can pop into the Silverwater showroom. Um, well, the shop there and have a look at their range because um, I, I, I think it's a little bit of an unsung hero. There's so many uh, event products that you can buy at Kosh. Um, candleware, vases, um, urns, uh, charger plates even. There's so many bits and pieces there. Um, it's honestly like going into a candy store. So um, it's really, really awesome. So again, we're just going to continue creating our shape. And this is a really simple design to do. So even a person with little um, arranging skills would be able to create something like this. Maybe start on something smaller, which I'll be demonstrating shortly. And what I'm wanting to create is um, just beautiful, soft, fluffy textures. Um, which is what we're known for within our the wedding industry and the flower industry. And I don't want this to be too high. So that's probably the height of the base that I want to create. It's so good to have all these products out. So we're also live on um, on Instagram. So uh, we're live on the Kosh um, Insta page. So as well as uh, the John Emanuel Insta page. So guys, um, for my followers, head over to Kosh's um, Instagram and, and and have a look at their products. There, they always run promotions and competitions and things like that. So head over to the Kosh Instagram page, Kosh and Co and have a look at the great product range.
So I was saying a little bit earlier, um, last Tuesday or Tuesday last week, we launched our new luxury synthetic range at um, the Wedded World Expo, um, which has been phenomenal. The response has been amazing. So um, yeah, we're really excited about the launch of our new luxury wedding range. And we've had so many inquiries for it. It's been crazy. It's been so good, so well received. So continuing with the silk, uh, sorry, not the silk, the, uh, the soft fluffy textures. We're gonna use this beautiful bush. And it's such a delicate white flower, like it's really, really beautiful. I'm going to push the foliage down because I don't want too much of it to be seen. And when uh, creating this design, um, if you really base up well, it'll save you so much time later. Sean, I've got a question. Yes. Are they real? Are they no, they're not. Flowers? These are syn synthetic. So these are beautiful synthetic flowers, or artificial flowers, or silk flowers, um, all available at Kosh Co. Um, and they're really good quality. They're such a fantastic quality. Oh, I've got another question, more of a Kosh one. Great work. Do the clear candle holders come in gold? The clear one, okay. So what we will be doing later, um, you can actually spray gold. So we've got some Design Master in a beautiful champagne colour. And um, if you do the coats very lightly and allow them to dry and then keep on reapplying the spray paint, you can uh, spray them gold. Um, we have this other one over here, and that's in more of a timber, product so um, that'll that'll be probably a lot easier to spray but you could definitely spray these gold as well we've got a question for you John on the Koch account yes this time do you from the subtle money do you just wing it or have a product kind of clear in your mind before you start your design okay so um, I actually went out to the shop to the Koch um, shop uh, on Monday and we hand selected everything so we definitely nothing's winged everything's thought of um yeah and then we choose blooms specifically that what goes for each other with each other and also um what type of look we're trying to create as well okay i've got another question from yes. nadia how do you clean the flowers later on if they get dusty? Okay, well I think protecting them. So say for instance, if you're hiring them, I think cover them. Um, but you know, I think if you just sort of give it, go over with a hairdryer and um, and yeah, and just give them a good shake out, it, it, it should work. Um, but then like anything, I think everything has a use by date. So um, maybe if you like replace them every 18, 18 months to two years, um, you know, that obviously, you'd, you'd have a better um, visual with that. So what I'm doing now is just extending um, this bush with an 18 gauge wire. Now, in my last demo, I actually parafilmed or taped the, the wire. In this case, I'm not going to do it because there's going to be so much in here, you're not going to see the mechanics. Just a nice and simple technique. I want to stop it from going flat as well. So with these placements here, I've just gotten a little bit more height. So that's formed pretty much our base for the moment. And now what I'm going to do is take our carnations and I'm gonna start putting them in groups of three or so. John, I've got a question. Yes. Do you prefer fresh or fake flowers? Well, I think both have their place. Um, I don't think anything will ever replace the luxury of flowers, but if you need, um, say, for a, a design for a corporate or for home, 
um, and you don't have the budget to replace it every week, synthetic is a really good option. Um, and also now with our synthetic uh, or artificial wedding range, because they're a higher product, they're so much more affordable. So a $35,000 uh, fresh wedding, you'd probably get from 10 to $12,000. So um, it's a fraction of the price. Um, but yeah, I think my heart will always be fresh. Um, there's nothing more luxurious than the real thing. Um, but I do think there's a place in the marketplace for synthetic. Another question from Prop, Prop My Wedge. Yeah. How much would you hire a design like this for? So this one here, we might hire out for $80 or $100 in that vicinity there. At the moment, we're focusing on building our taller centerpieces and they range from 180 um, for more for a beautiful large design, um, right up to $400 for, I'm talking like designs probably about this big. So in fresh, that would probably cost about $1,600. Okay, another question from Cotton Cakes. With the gold bars, do you use the circles bar underneath? No, so all we've done is use the, um, the Oasis uh, or the, the dry flower foam and we've just cut it and shaped it to fit in the container. These peonies are absolutely beautiful. They're so, so gorgeous. And we're just gonna manipulate the petals as well. So we can open them up and just make them look a little bit more interesting. And then again, I'm going to do them in groups of three or so. And just creating some real depth. Now I'm going to go in, so we can see that's pretty much one level, but now I'm going to go in and just get a bit more height in there. So, and I'm going to go as far as even wiring a few, just to give it a little bit more height. And sometimes we even hot tape um, with like a shish kebab stick or something like that, which works really, really well. There we go. And I start to get a little bit of depth now here. I've got a question, John. Yes. What's the process to book you for a wedding? Sorry, what's the process to book for a wedding? Yes. So what we need to do um, is you need to get in contact with us, um, either by email or by uh, phone. Um, and all of our details are on our Insta page, so you can just press email or contact um, and book in the consultation. And I'd love the opportunity to sit down with you and uh, go through all the details. And I actually sit in and, um, well not sit in, I actually sit and do every consultation. So you will meet me at the consultation and we'll go through all your design ideas for your big day. So it's really starting to fill out now. But again, this could be used for a beautiful centerpiece for a dining table to have on display all the time. And we've prepped everything so we've taken nearly all the tags off and it's just so easy then to go in and, and arrange in place.
got a question here on the kosher count. Mm -hmm. How do you work with vases that are a bit narrow, have a narrow mouth, if you want to create smaller arrangements? I think it's really important to choose your vaseware carefully. So therefore, I work mainly with cylinder vases. Um, for that simple reason, it's just difficult to um, to create uh, with, with a, a small opening. So I think it's, it's really important to choose your vases carefully um, and really look how you're going to arrange and what you want to arrange in it before purchasing it. Another one now from Grace. Hi John, do you replicate every table arrangement to keep your to keep a balanced look? Sorry. Do you replicate every table arrangement to keep a balanced look? Okay, so, <laughs> gosh, I'm giving you masterclass answers now. <laughs> um, so we actually assembly line, we assembly, oh, assemble line our designs. So um, I don't have one designer start from, or go from start to finish. We um, actually will have two or three florists, our strongest florists, go and get the shape. Um, and then another person would fill in. So that way we get the consistency um, within the, the designs. So can we see it come together? And where I'm noticing it a little bit flat as well, I'm now going to go in and just build on top. And um, our signature look is all about getting that depth and layer um, in flowers, which can be seen as quite wasteful, but um, it just stops it from looking like a cake of flowers. It just, um, just makes it, we can really see it start to take form here where you get the beautiful interest in depth. It's so easy, particularly when you're working with so many flowers, just to jam and patch with flowers, but um, not have any depth at all. Perfect, so what I'm going to do now is put this one aside and we're going to start working on this as a collection of flowers. With this design concept here, so um, we've used the large metal urn um, and as I showed you earlier, we've got some beautiful smaller urns in the same shade of gold. Um, and this is actually going to comprise of five different um, pieces. Um, so what I'm going to do now is show you uh, how we do the small pieces. Um, again, these are really simple and really quick to do. Um, you could even, I mean, some posies could have almost fit straight into the vases or the urns. So exactly how we started the larger design, we're just going to go in and create our bed, our base. Again, I'm removing the foliage of these ones because I don't want too, too much green at all to be seen. And because it's low, in, in the larger design, with some of them we just push the foliage down, but in this case I'm removing them. So there's our base there formed. And now I'm going to go through and add the peonies, the peonies. So I might do a group of two on one side, 
and a group of three on the other. And again, just looking at getting a little bit of depth in it. Now I'm going to go back to these Cymbidian orchids. And probably the same, I'm going to do two groups of these as well. Okay, so that's the design there. And again, I'm going to take this other beautiful metal urn. And again, it's just repeating it. rather than if you didn't want the large design, is maybe like have three or four of each of these designs here and create a beautiful continual runner with them. That'll look really, really beautiful as well. So there's our three pieces, um, our three different designs. So we've got the medium size urn, the large urn, and then we have a slightly smaller one here. And I prepared the other two a little bit earlier. And now what we're going to do is we're going to um, actually set it with linen, um, candles and everything. So we'll be back with you shortly um, and we'll show you the finished product. Awesome, so welcome back everyone. Um, this is my most favorite part of uh, designing uh, weddings, is actually dressing at the table. So um, as you know, earlier we were working on uh, uh, a collection of five different designs. So what I'm gonna do now is just place them on the table. We've set some beautiful linen, because um, linen makes such a difference. So we're gonna start by placing the larger design directly in the middle. And now what we're gonna do is take our four smaller designs and place them on either side. And then again with the even smaller design. So rather than having them in a straight line, I do wanna stagger them slightly to make it a little bit more interesting. And now what we're going to do is embellish with Phalaenopsis orchids because what's a luxury tablescape without Phalaenopsis orchids? So, and these ones even feel real. So we're going to take quite a few stems of these. And we want to make it really beautiful and dramatic. actually this case them quite low onto the tables. Okay, and to give that a little bit of strength, I'm not gonna leave it sticking out on its own. I'm gonna go through over and support it with this other stem. achieve that ultra luxurious look and have it really full and um, you know if they can't speak across the table to the person they'll just speak to the people on either side of them.
way. And we're just going to balance this candlestick on the other side, like so. Um, and now we're going to bring in these beautiful tea light holders. Um, again, obviously available from Kosh. And we have little tea lights as well. So we just pop them in so they're nice and protected. And then we're just going to scatter them along. Now, obviously they're synthetic flowers, so make sure the flame isn't too close, because it could be a bit of a disaster. A few groups of candles on either side. This is the absolute best part of my job. And then we're going to grab these acrylic charger plates. Again, all available at Kosh Co. Now, once we put the plates down and we see all of our placements, we can then go and just manipulate a little bit. Awesome. And that's how we create a luxury table stand.